iPads are not made for tripods, and tripods are not made for iPads, so this is the best we're gonna get. Anyways, hey guys, Wolf Girl here, and today I'm gonna be doing something... I don't know how different you want to call it, because I do do art content sometimes. A little while back, by that I mean like a year or two ago, when I was still like laughing at these books like every month or something, um, some of you guys suggested that I should try to make um, another book or comic with these same characters just now in my new art style, um, but that would take me at least three years. <laughs> so, so I decided I would just redraw them instead, <coughs> and then I forgot about the idea for a really long time, but we're back at it now. <laughs> uh, hi. 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 The first of the characters I decided to draw out of the four was Freddy. Freddy's a Dalmatian. He's ten years old. This video also made me realize I haven't drawn Dalmatian in literal years. He's not exactly the brightest light in the bunch. Uh, he could be dumber, but he also could be smarter. He's into stereotypical young boy things. He especially likes to wrestle and play fight with his friends. Uh, he has this ego that is so big it could probably kiss the moon if it wanted to. And it kind of makes him seem a little bit delusional. Very delusional. But despite that, he is very loyal and will jump in front of a train for his friends in a heartbeat, like absolutely no hesitation. He's a very ironic individual. Despite his big ego, he will definitely back out of an argument within seconds if he realizes he's going to lose. And he's also a little bit of a scaredy cat. Also ironically tires easily, despite being fairly active and very strong. All right, and the next one is Lily. Lily is a golden retriever yellow lab mix and she's nine years old. She's pretty clever and very friendly and actually does have a lot of friends and talks to a lot of people, but she's also a bit bossy. Actually, even though she's the youngest, she actually tells everyone in this group of four what to do. She's also a little stereotypical, she likes princesses, pink, got a bit of an attitude, but she doesn't shy away from physical activity or getting dirt. I also accidentally made her too dark, and now she looks orange. Great. And next we have Timothy. Timothy is a miniature pincher, and I have no idea how old he is. I can't remember. I just know he's 40-something. It <laughs> kind of resembles a caretaker-like figure in the stories, so, like, that, that's why he's there. Um, I guess he kind of is what you'd expect a middle-aged person to be. Kind of boring. He's a health freak who minds his diet and likes to work out, and he's always very anxious that the rest of the group is gonna do something stupid, so he's always freaking out, like, Oh gosh, these kids! Oh yeah, and sometimes he complains about the fact that his back is slowly killing him. Pretty sure I made him, like, to mock my parents, mostly my mom, but, uh, we don't talk about that. Wow, ignore my hair, I had just gotten back from a day at the lake when I, uh, drew him. But you'll probably notice that Timothy, an adult, is basically the same height as these two children next to him who are obviously going to grow way more, and that's because Timothy's a small breed and Lily and Freddy are much bigger breeds, so they're gonna grow to be way taller than him and he's just gonna be a midget because I, I decided to actually think something through and I kind of made that sort of accurate to how dog breeds work. Obviously it's not accurate down to the T, otherwise Great Danes would probably be tall as skyscrapers, but you know, I, I kind of like that little detail. I think it's interesting. So, good on you, younger me. Oh, I think I know why I was taking so long. I was spilling some tea to my friend. Anyways, Last one up is Henry, the only rabbit of the group. He's the only one not based off a stuffed animal, he's actually based off my real rabbit because I was like, ooh, Henry should have awesome adventures in some sort of fictional world, so that's what I did. <laughs> he is a mini lop and he is 17 years old. He's also the main, main character, which is why the series is called Henry and House, and I don't know why it's called Henry and House. It's a little awkward in my opinion, but okay. So he loves trying new things, he loves meeting new people, um, he's got a ton of energy. He acts really goofy, uh, to the point where it actually makes him look really stupid at times, but he's not. He's actually very smart. He just kind of has a weird sense of humor. That kind of reminds me of Milo a little bit. Like most teenage boys, he plays basketball and he's very good at it because he is a rabbit after all and can probably jump through the hoop if he wanted to. Yeah, so he's kind of this uh, chaotic, lovable protagonist and I also gave up on trying to figure out his markings so I just grabbed a picture of my rabbit. A little off topic, but you know, it just feels so weird. Like whenever you make a character, like, older than you, and then some years go by and you catch up to them in age, and then you just sit there thinking, wow, I'm as old as this character now. What happened? Because, like, I don't- I wasn't even 11 when I created this concept. That was 10. I was just 11 when I started acting more on it, and I was like, man, Henry is old, and now I'm Henry's age. 
Alright, and that's gonna be it for this video. I just quickly want to apologize if the audio quality is a little crusty because my iPad speaker is not very great and I don't have a good place to record and I have to have my window open right now otherwise I'll suffocate in here. It's very humid where I am and also I'm starting to lose my voice. So here's the iconic four. You can go ahead and let me know down in the comments which one's your favorite and while you're at it hit subscribe, turn on notifications if you haven't already. That'd be super cool of you. Maybe hit the like button or dislike button. It really doesn't matter. I feel like it's a common misconception that people form that the dislike button harms the video's reach. It actually doesn't. It increases it because it still counts as an interaction, so the algorithm likes it. I'm not even too sure why that button's there, if that's the case, but oh well, you learn something new every day. I'm gonna go drink some water. Goodbye.